the underlying differences between sacked independent electoral and the boundaries commission CEO Ezra Chiloba and the commission's Chiawafula Chebukati was laid bare before the National Assembly Public Accounts Committee. After Chebukati appeared before the committee, deflating blame from his office to that of the chief executive officer over alleged acts and omissions that led to the loss of millions, Chiloba. I, Ezra Chiloba, was to question the capacity of his former chair before the same committee. Chiloba, who was appearing before the committee to respond to the Auditor General's report on alleged loss of 9 billion shillings by the electoral body during the 2017 general election, said the integrity and credibility of IBC and its commissioners was beyond redemption. Would you therefore want to say that you are then questioning the integrity of the individual commissioners of the IBC? Without a fear of, fear of contradiction, Mr. Chair, I do question that. You do question I worked with them and I supported them and I trusted that they were new and so we are helping each other and they are going to learn. But given what has emerged, and I think, Mr. Chair, there are a lot of questions to be asked. Uh, to ask about their integrity and their capabilities. And this is about all of them or some of them? Mr. And now let's, let's confine ourselves to the three who, are in, who, are, who still remain in office. I mean, uh, I see a lot of intellectual dishonesty among all of them, Mr. Chair. Among all of them. Among all of them. He accused Chebukati and his commissioners of interfering with the work of Secretariat, a state of affairs, that he claimed created a crisis in the electoral body days to the 2017 elections. Mr. Chair, when you're in the office and people keep on saying the young man, and yet I'm the CEO of the organization, and they refer to you as the young man, that is very demeaning, Mr. Chair. So I thought there was also some perspective about the leadership capabilities and the competition around that. Chiloba further accused IEBC chair of exhibiting interest in the 2017 general election ballot paper printing tender that was later awarded to Dubai farm al by the court. I had not left the boardroom, so I was summoned to his office, so the two of us. So when I get there, he introduces to me another farm that was not discussed at the plenary. Which farm was this? There was a company called Replon. A local company? No, it's, an, it's a South African company, I think. South African? Yeah. Okay, right. So he gives me documents, and he tells me, go uh, look into this. <laughs> Two days later, he sends me a memo asking me how far I've gone in terms of implementing the commission decision to procure an international company to offer ballot papers. And I called the chairman, I told him, I don't think the plenary said an international company. It says international local, so that means options... It's open. Is there any other that you may think that chairman had, had um, uh, interest in, in terms of uh, himself benefiting? His law firm was also given one. The former CEO further claimed that his suspicion from the commission and the subsequent internal audit in his absence was a scheme to incriminate him. Samson Kitavi, Channel One News.